everyone. It's serenity. It's that time of year. I hope you can hear me because I have my music going on in the background for, for Halloween. Um, I wanted to show you some things that I picked up this year as far as new Halloween decorations that are some of my faves. So this video is this year's Halloween favorites of Serenities. Um, the first thing I want to show you, and again, I hope you can hear because I have my music on really loud, is right behind me is this cute little owl lantern. I have another one I'll show you. It's like this. They come on a little hook. And I love owls. Those of you that watch me and follow my videos know that owls are like my favorite. And I got these at Pottery Barn. And they were a really popular item. They actually sold out like within a week of them being in the store. So I had to like search a lot of the stores to find them. And I ended up finding like the last two in Florida, which they, they were pretty pricey because they ended up costing me a total of $75 a piece. But that was because I had to have them shipped and I ordered them separately because I wasn't sure if I wanted one or the two. Um, they normally were $59, so plus tax and shipping, I paid about $75 a piece for these. But Halloween is my favorite holiday and I've been working really hard and I kind of tend to go all out for Halloween. So. Those are my owl lanterns, and I got two. And again, you can either set it or you can hang it up. The next thing that I got, if you'll see behind me, is this chalkboard. And I got it at grandinroad.com. And um, how they had it was they had like potions written on it, and they had it like with a witch display. And I thought it looked really neat. And on Hall Halloween, we have like in our front foyer a bunch of witches around the cauldron and I just thought it'd be kind of a cute addition to add to my already Halloween display that I have that we put in our foyer. So um, we got that and then another time I was at Pottery Barn I saw these cute little mice and I have a um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the store called Illuminations, but it went out of business, I think, a couple of years ago, and I was really saddened because they had, like, a lot of really cool um, candle holders that um, I got from them that I use every Halloween, and so I was really disappointed. Oh, my gosh, it's so hot. You have no idea, you guys. Um, so I was really disappointed when they went out of business. So, um... So yeah, that's where I used to get a lot of my candle holder things. But anyways, I have a haunted house that you can put candles inside. And I thought these mice would look really cute sitting around the haunted house. And I got these again at Pottery Barn for $8.50 a piece. And another really cute idea that I thought of is my mom. She has an old grandfather clock. And when I was a little girl, she used to stick these mice um, around the clock, like they were running up the clock, the clock strikes 12, you know, three blind mice type of thing. So I always thought that was a really cute idea to do something like that. So anyways, I thought they were really cute. And the next thing that I got, of course, was I got the Sensi plugin that I've been talking about on my Facebook page. I've talked about them on my YouTube page. You can order them still and probably have enough time to get them in time for Halloween. They are on sale right now. They're in the closeout section of my webpage. They are only $16 and they are so cute lit up. You plug them into the wall. They have an on off switch and they light up and then they heat the scented wax and it scents your home. Now, I'm gonna say what I always say. Believe me when I tell you, I still like my candles. I like to relax and watch the candles burning. But I also think that these Scentsy products make your house smell amazing. So I just have both in my house. And if I want to burn a candle, I burn a candle. If I want to have something lit up, I use this. And I have another one over here, which I will pan out. And I will, at the end of my video, I will show you guys everything. But I have one lit up over here in the corner. And they come in a box like this, very well packaged. They come with a light bulb, 
the only thing that you're going to have to get if you don't, if you've never used Scentsy before, is you're going to have to um, purchase the Scentsy bars, which are only five dollars, and you pick your scent. Now, you might be asking, where did I get the music that you hear that playing in the background? This is from like, gosh, I've had this for like ten years, and um, I got it when Martha Stewart. <coughs> excuse me. Um, on MarthaStewart.com when she used to sell all of her Halloween items on her actual website. She doesn't do that anymore. She now has some of her um, Halloween items on GrandinRoad.com. So that's where I got this chalkboard at. Um, and I got a few other things that I'll show you in a minute. The next thing that I want to show you, and this is like my absolute must every October. I wear this every October and it is called Sensual Amber. And you can get this at Bath and Body Works. And the name isn't kidding. It smells very sensual. I've gotten a ton of compliments when I wear this. It comes in a bottle like this. As you can see, I've gone through a lot of it. I always buy it at the beginning of October. It smells amazing. Um, I use it every day in the month of October. And it retails for $29.50. Um, I actually had a... Um, gift card because my birthday was October 2nd and so it was a birthday present I went and head and bought this so um, yeah I wear it every year and you just you know I'm not gonna lie you just have to kind of go to the store and you have to smell it to understand what I'm talking about I mean it smells so amazing literally you want to eat it so you definitely have to try this is my Halloween scent every year that I wear and again I get loads of compliments on it the next thing is I'm sure everybody has heard of it, and if not, um, there's a Halloween store that we have in our neighborhood that comes yearly. It is called Spirit, um, and I was kind of disappointed in their decorations this year. Normally, I find a few things like last year um, at Spirit, if you look through my videos from last Halloween, I have a really cool one where I'm showing, I got this, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, I got this Witch's Spell book and it's sound activated and it actually opens really slow and it lights up and you hear a witch's voice talking about potions and so if you go on my through my video list you can go ahead and you can watch that video It is a really cute uh, little spell book I haven't gotten it out yet because again like I said in my earlier video um, I've been so busy at work I don't have all my decorations out and today's my day off so I'm kind of just doing all that today so um, again back to the spirit store I got these glasses because I thought they were so cute and they say wicked they were $7.99 a piece I got two and I had a 20% off coupon so I thought they were really cute and they have a mug there actually that I would like to get now that I think about it it's like a big huge beer mug but it's the same type of con same type of black ceramic and, then, and it says wicked across it and it's just a little bit bigger and it holds a bigger drink but I thought that these were really really cute the next thing that I have and I'm gonna wear this shortly to work with like a black shirt underneath that I was waiting for as Halloween got closer as you guys know, as I've mentioned a million times, how much I love owls. Um, I got this cute little owl tank top. I actually got it like a month ago. I just haven't worn it, and I've been waiting and saving it for right before Halloween. I can wear it with like black slacks and maybe a black shirt underneath it with a little, um, you know jacket over top of it so it looks a little professional with like <coughs> gosh <coughs> with like a silver necklace or something so yeah I love this shirt it is really really cute so I was excited about that another thing I got at this spirit store and I thought these were so dang cute these are little keychains and you push the button listen And it's a kitty and it meows and because it's a keychain that's also a light so at night if you're trying to get in your car sorry if i brighted you guys out but it's a pretty bright you know little light and it sounds like a cat and then of course yes i had to get the owl and here's the owl and these were gosh how much were they $3.99 
$3.99 at Spirit. What else do I have here? Oh, I'm saving the best thing for last. You guys are going to think it's so dang cute. And yes, I know, I look silly in my little witch hat. i um, trying to get in the spirit of Halloween because, again, like I said, I've been so extremely busy. But I got this at grandinroad.com also. And it comes, you can either hang her on the wall and use her as a kitchen clock. She's a witch during her cauldron. Or, and it comes with this little stand that you can also just set it like on the counter or something. And that's what the stand looks like. And the numbers and the hands actually glow in the dark. And this normally was $69. It went down to $39, and I got it for like $25, I think, because there was like a sale. Now it's back up to $29, but they are still available on grandinroad.com. I'll, I'll put all the information about the websites down in my comment section so you guys know. But this is where a lot of Martha Stewart's products go to. But it's, I just think it's so cute. So I got that. Next, I want to show you my favorite color this month. I have it on my fingers now, actually. And it's by Butter London. And it is called L.A. Moss. And I've been wearing it a lot this month. I have it on my toenails, my fingernails. I normally wear darker colors, October time. Um, but yeah, I really like, it's kind of a purpley, a reddish purpley black dark color. Actually, I want to say it's more like a blood red black color. So I really, really like it again. Again, it's Butter London, and it's the, the color is L.A. Moss. And then these, I picked up a bunch of these. At Bath & Body Works, Plum Potion, Screama Colada, uh, and I got Wicked Spiced Pumpkin. My favorite one, I think, smell, that smells the best is Screamo Colada. It smells exactly like a Pina Colada. It smells really good. Plum Potion. It smells more like grape than anything to me. And then Wicked Spice Pumpkin. Doesn't really smell like spice pumpkin to me. I mean, it's a faint, really faint, faint scent. So my favorite one is the Scream Colada. I got stocked up on a bunch of those just because, um, just because they were 50% off. So um, I wanted to go ahead and get a bunch of them. Oh darn it! And I forgot to grab. Also at Bath and Body Works, they have the cutest little um, soaps. Um, Hold on one second. I'm actually going to go grab them because I want to show you. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Anyways, um, these were on sale too, and this is sweet cinnamon. Cinnamon. Like you see, I can't talk. I told, like I said, I'm tired today. Sweet cinnamon pumpkin, and then these cute little skeleton heads. Um, the the scented soap in there is sweet pea. So I just thought they were really cute, and they were fifty percent off. The next thing is I got, and I'm gonna give these to my kids. On their first day back to school, or on Halloween day, they see, like I said, I'm so tired the first day back to school. What is wrong with me? Um, I got a couple different kinds here. The first one is Scary Cats, and these are the little antibacterial things you can put in your hands, the pocket ones. And this one is Chocolate Chew. And then this one is Candy Corn. 
And my kids are older, you know, but I still like to do creative and cute stuff for them. So on Monday when they have to go to school, I'll probably leave one of these out for them and give them some candy on the day that they go to school and whatnot. And then I got a couple little candles from Bath & Body. I got a, a caramel one, and this is spiced, spiced cider. Okay, now my most favorite thing I saved for last to show you, and I absolutely love her, so I'm going to get out of the way, and I might have to take the camera down, but um, you guys are going to think that she is very, very cool when you see her. So, I'm going to move her over. Hold on one second. Okay, guys, are you ready? Isn't she just the cutest thing? She sits low on the ground because one of the things that she says is, I've fallen off my broom, I can't get up, can somebody please help? She's really cute. I got her at grandinroad.com also, and they were having a big sale. I think they do still have her. She's $75 now. I got her for a little bit cheaper than that, but she's normally retails for, I think, $100. So she's well with the worth the price, and I know I'm going to have a lot of fun with her. So um, I just wanted to show you guys some of my new stuff I've gotten for Halloween this year. And I hope you guys are doing well, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Oh. And really quick, this is my plug-in lit up. Sorry if there's kind of a glare, but it's really cute. So if you want to order those, you still have time. And I will put the link to my website. It's really easy. You just go to the closeout section on my webpage. And you can order from my website. I never see any of your credit card information. It's all through the website once you pay. So I hope everybody's doing good. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Trying to get her to do it again. Hey, wait for me! I'm a bit stuck and almost out of here! Oh, wait, dearie! I'm almost up and then the fun can begin! <laughs> Again. See, she sound activated, so. I think she's going to look amazing because we have, like, a cemetery out front in our front yard, so I'm gonna put her out somewhere out there. And it looks like she's crashed because you only see half of her body. 
So yeah, I think it's gonna, she's gonna be the hit this year. But you guys should definitely go check out my spell book I got last year from Spirit because you guys are going to think that's really, really cool. It opens up on its own and it's really creepy and even my husband liked it. So, all right, you guys, I'll talk to you later. And for the last time, again.